Here we go. He's following. There we go. <laughs> We've all got to learn. We've all got to start somewhere. He's seven years of age, and this is a death great day. Don't forget, Luna is totally, totally deaf. Only works on vibrations and picks up, and also hand signals as well. I wouldn't go on that tunnel. We haven't washed it for years. Absolutely hummed. Luna's following the tree, that's the problem. Go on, oh, well done Luna. Now I like to see this huge dog, well she's not huge compared to Lynn's other two, going through the weaving frame. Bit of a helping hand, we all want to start learning sometimes. Brave little boy, he is only seven years of age. It takes a lot of nerve to come to this arena and work for your dog. Give him a round of applause, Ethan there and Luna. <laughs> the Border Collies are the speed merchants of the agility world. And see Ben is so fast that Wendy doesn't have to run after him. That's because he's well trained. Tight corner there, big A frame. I want to see so there. We know this is not crops. We're not perfectionists. And two for the price of one. This is Sharon with Helga. She's the German Shepherd. And Wilma, she's a Sheltie. Now Helga sometimes comes back to the trailer looking for her favourite toy, which has to be a football. So I don't know whether she's going to be under control today. There she goes. No, she's not. <laughs> she's looking for her football. Working two dogs is twice as difficult. Some are fast, some are slow. That's little Wilma there, the Sheltie. And through the weaving frame, big German Shepherd <laughs> destroys it. Give her a round of applause. Take the promo and Helga. This is Louise and Monty. Monty's a working Labrador, as you can see, nice and trim. Labradors have a habit of putting weight on just by looking at food. Louise keeps her very trim indeed. Little tight corner there, seem to be going all right around there. We are described Labradors as an eating machine with one leg in each corner. Therefore it's difficult to keep them trim, but as you can see Monty is a very trim lab indeed. And through the weaving frame, most difficult apparatus on any agility course. Give up while across. Not quite sure. We don't like that first jump, do we? Maybe it's at the wrong angle. Don't know why Jet's called Jet, because he's Jet Black, or because he's as fast as a Jet were, not quite sure. There you go. Two bounces and two jumps. <laughs> and once again, comes to the weaving frame. It is the most difficult piece of equipment on any judging course. Give her a applause. There's Brian. Hey. I won't talk too loudly. This is Betty. Betty doesn't like my voice very much, so my wife doesn't either. That's another story. Betty is a Labrador Cross Spaniel. Labrador Cross Spaniel. There you go. Some people think she's pure lab, but she's not. She's Labrador Cross Spaniel. Sue and Rob have two. The other one, Lizzie, is not here. Well, she is here, but she's not. Oh! That gin was a bit strong last night, wasn't it? So we go around. It is. It's actually a Labrador Spring Spaniel Cross. <laughs> the problem is, Lizzie's dad's somewhere in the arena taking photographs. Now, will Lizzie spot him? Oh, no, Lizzie hasn't. That makes a refreshing change. Normally, Lizzie finds dad. Hi, Lizzie. How you doing? Hello up there. It's the first time ever she actually hasn't spotted and through the weaving frame. The most difficult apparatus are on the agency course. Give a round of applause. This is Liam. 
with Super Sid. Sid is a jackapoo. Sid actually belongs to Liam's mom. Sid won't work for Liam, uh, Liam's mom for some reason, but he will work for Liam. He absolutely loves Liam. Do anything Liam asks. Go on, Sid. Oh, go on up the top there. Well done, Super Sid. So he doesn't work for his mother at all. Liam somehow, Sid just loves Liam with the end of This is Vicky and I'll be back with Arnie. Arnie's a bits of dog. He's a bits of this, bits of that, bits of everything, but he is a terrier. Very vocal little dog indeed. There you go. Oh, well done, Arnie. That's a big A frame for a little legged like dog. Oh, straight through the dog. Brother. As with a wavy friend. This is devotion for you. This is Julie and Tia. Julie's worked the whole day in, in Ormskirk, driven straight over here and working a dog. Tia. Now you see Tia is a little bit rotund. Bit of a round tummy. She had the full English this morning. We call her Tia Teapot. She looks like a teapot. But today, she looks like a full English. Breakfast is inside her. Julie and her family uh, rescued Tia about five years ago. She was not a very happy dog. Come on, Tia, you can do it. Oh, it's that extra black pudding. I told you that extra black pudding's no good for her. She just cannot make that A-frame. What's that? She had more, more bacon than black pudding. Oh, well, there you go. It's an added fat product, isn't it? Give a round of applause. She the full English in there. On the standing table. This is Helen and Milo. Milo is a Labrador. And it's one of those um, things that you have a zipper in to put your pajamas in, doesn't she? Helen has two Labradoodles. One's called Milo, as you see now, and the other one's called Buzz, as in Buzz Lightyear. And through the weaving frame there, give a round of applause. That's this is Joe and Amber. Amber is a soft-coated Weezy Terrier. They are not a lot about. Joe and Kathy have two. This is Amber. The other one is called Odo. Hello, I like you, Rob. You're trying to hide in the corner there. They all know you're there. They used to be very popular for each soft-coated Weezy Terriers, but now... Hello, Amber. <laughs> Need to change the batteries like in my microphone. There we go. Oh, over that big A-frame, can she now? Yes, you can. And you see, we have various, various breeds to it. You see, it's not just the Border Collies or the Collie Crosses. You see it crops. Anyone with any dog, even a three-legged dog, can do agility. It's good fun. I'll go in that way, he says, Joe. Those fastest one around. One of the most common things is you let your dog off the lead in the park, it runs around, it's so happy, it doesn't come back to you. However, that three-year-old child has a nice creed. Mmm, yum. Dog knocks over child, child's parents say the dog attacked my child, you're up in course under the dangerous dog's act. So please always be aware of your surroundings when you've got your dog. If you let it off the lead, make sure it will come back to you ten times out of ten. That one time after ten could be disastrous. And so we have various breeds out there. Do we have the... Oh, we've got the big Great Danes out here today. We've got Great Danes. We've got all sorts of breeds over there. Where we're based at Westland Canine Centre on the Formula Bypass. Uh, people rescue dogs, obviously. They have puppies. A lot of dogs sort of suit uh, certain names, you know. German Shepherds have certain names, Labradors have certain names. I think all Labradors should be called Sam. I don't know, it's just been a Labrador name. Those of you who own dogs will know only too well the most popular name for a dog in the world. It's not Rover, it's not Ben, Shep, or even Lassie. The most popular name for a dog in the world is, of course, Oi. How many of us got dogs today? Oi, come here. Oi, sit. We, we, we are human beings and we become lazy. Use your dog's name, he or she will understand you are talking to them and that's another member of the pack. Because of course your canine looks at the family unit as a pack. You have your alphas on top, 
your children in the middle, and of course right at the bottom of the pecking order if you have your canines. And that's where they should understand, that's where their place is. If your dog starts thinking that they are more superior to other members of your family, that's when you have problems. So if you train your dog well, make sure it understands where it can go, its parameters within the pack unit, so you will have a happy dog and a happy life. That's Buddy, he's our, one of our newest dogs on the team. Matthew's just keeping him on the lead to make sure he gets used to working in an arena environment. Not all dogs can work in arenas, whether they be big or small. So Matthew just on, erring on the side of caution there with the slip lead. All oh, that grass is really good, Artie, isn't it? And of course, once you have some basic obedience on your canine belt, you can teach the dogs all the tricks of the trick. No, Jet, the tricks aren't there. <laughs> People always say that Lassie was a very clever dog. There were a lot of Lassies. If you're very, very good at film watching, you're a film buff, you'll see uh, a boy Lassie turn into a girl Lassie very quickly indeed. They all did various parts and parcels of the uh, films that they made, but there were quite a few lassies. One lassie did everything. They all did various parts and parcels and then obviously spliced the movies together. And of course, once you teach your dog basic obedience, you can teach them all the tricks of the trade. Hello Betty. I like you. Oh, I like you too. Oh, I like you. <laughs> oh, I like you. Oh, it must be love. Get a round of applause our obedience section. I know sometimes you like watching paint drive, but it's the cornerstone of everything you will do with your four or even three-legged friend. We kick score goal. Helga, what are you doing? Oh, what a save! Look at that! Well unlucky! Come on, Abigail. Oh, I'm not. Come on. Come on, have another go. Have another go. That was rubbish. That was absolute rubbish. Right, Abigail, big kick. Oh, unlucky, never mind. Oh, unlucky. We'll give a round of applause for Alice. Great. Oh, unlucky. Good save, Helga. Unlucky, Ethan. Oh, oh, almost, almost unlucky, mate. Oh, drives it wide, unlucky. Give a round of applause to our brave volunteers and Helga, the world famous goalkeeper. That's the PA, get the right music on. And we go, here comes Owen, who ate all the breakfast. It's Tia Tifa. Go on, you can jump. Go on, you hold on. Go on, Luna. The big, the small, the fat, the thin. Where are you going, Poppy? Come on, Poppy, you can do it. So I know it's dog on the team, just learning the ropes. Luna! Go on, Poppy, well done! Yeah. Here goes little Lizzie. Come on, Lizzie. Oh, I, don't... I need a wee. Oh. Go on, Ben, you can do it. Back here, go on, Ben. Being vocal. <laughs> there goes Big Shadow. Here comes little Bradley, the toy poodle. Go on, Bradley, you can do it. Go on, Brad. Wait for me, Mum. You might have a treat for me afterwards. Go, on, little Bradley, you can do it. Go on, Brad. Come on, Brad. Come on, Brad. Come on, Brad. You can do it. Go, on, go, 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 go. Yeah, good round of applause. See, Hooper Dooper Dog. And our very brave, very brave volunteers. Our team members bend over. They have a hoop on the back. And they'll get some ball prints on the back as well. There we go, here we go, Jet. We've done that bit now. And they run the wheel up. Oh, there you go. Oh. There you go, Betty. There's little Monty. Here goes Milo! Look at him go! Well done! 
Are we doing? Helga and Wilma. There goes that little Betty. There goes Jet. There goes Milo. There goes uh, that's either Amber Rodo. Looks like Odo. That's either Amber Rodo. Looks like Amber. That's Poppy, one of our newest dogs on the team. And here's Ben. Oh, he's twisting and shouting to the music today. Now, if the dogs can't jump that high, obviously we can put the dogs in the down position. Dogs don't like being in the down position because it's actually their most vulnerable position, especially towards attack. So how many dogs just lying down there doing nothing? Looks very simple, but it does take a lot of patience. There's either Rodo or Amber. This is either Amber or Rodo. I can't tell from the back end. Hello, Super Sid. <laughs> Ben's with the music today. He's AMFM today as our Ben. But of course, if your dog can jump a little bit higher, this is what you do. There's little Wilma. Uh, Wilma, that's cheating. That is cheating, Wilma. There you go, Jet. Trying to find, yeah, there's a lot of nice smells on the ground. Here comes Milo. Here comes Amber, or Odo, one of the others. I can't tell the difference. There's Poppy, our newest dog on the team. And here's Twist and Shout himself. This is Ben. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there we go. Ladies and boys, it goes round of applause for the Hooper Duper Dog. So, um, Brian, what are you doing? You pretended to be a tennis umpire. You pretended to be a tennis umpire? Why? We've got clever dogs, but I don't think any of them play tennis. They might play football, but I don't think any of them play... Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What is a ladder doing in the arena, and what are you doing scratching the bottom on it? Just watch and learn. Just watch and learn, okay. Right, what have we got here? Ah, I know what this is. This is very clever dogs. What they do is, they walk across people's backs. We've actually done this with over 500 people before now. There goes little Bradley. Oh, Tia, where are you going? Tia's looking for round two of the full English. Oh, pick it up there. There you go. Oh, there we go. Go on, little Lizzie. Here you go, Gordon. Honey, honey, go. Honey. Honey, stop barking. Climb that ladder. There you go. Helping hand. No, not playing today, Arnie. And last but by no means least, little Wilma there. Get him out of board, our back walking dog! To the front. <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? You don't let a bird go about a carbon. Get a rubber day. Put the bag down. Put the bag down. Ben, the board of colleagues, with his slide. 
Le Zouéry, il est monté, 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 il Where's little Bradley, the toy poodle? There goes Julie with Tia, who did eat the full length of the sporting with extra bacon and buckling. There goes Vicky with a hearty juicy bar. And here comes Luna with... Bit of wind up there, but as you can see, those flames are burning hot. There's not much illusion, but it's real fire. Away we go, here goes Wilma and Helga! Closely followed by Ben. Go on, Ben. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. 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 Who ain't old? Here goes TNT Fox. She had the full English ladies and boys and girls. Round of applause for the Fire Dogs! Here comes 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 the what are you doing? What's the, the dog has legs. It's tired. It's only just started working today. It can't be tired. Once again, thank you very much, Big Red Orange. Don't disappear. 12 o'clock here, we have those wonderful Manchester Shetland ponies. Not to miss them at all. We're back.